Hey, hey, y'all. Um, so today is the last day to get in on our founding members price for whatever letter. And um, while we chat about it, I just, of course, want to be showing you some stuff. So um, this little scripture card is just one of the things that you'll be getting. You're going to be getting a whole set of these. Um in your membership. So we are going to have different focus verses every uh, every month and you're gonna get these little cards and they're going to be something that you can stick on the bathroom mirror, something that you can put in your on your refrigerator, something you can put on your kids folder, you can clip to your planner, wherever you need this, you're gonna have it. It's also, it's blank on the back. So if you just wanna jot notes down and um, have this to give to people as just little encouragement cards, you can do that too. So. Um, so anyway, that's just a little, a little something, something that's coming. But whatever he tells you, this is um, based from John 2, 5. And I'm going to show you how we did this picture. So I've gone ahead and penciled it out. And to begin with, what I'm going to be using today is just uh, um, my black Tombow marker, um, a pink and a green. I'm going to get a light pink and a dark pink light pink and dark pink and some water. So I've gone ahead and penciled it out. As you know, I like to um, to plan the way that I write this out. Um, lettering is not something that you're always just gonna whip out. You've gotta kinda give it a little bit of thought. Let me adjust this camera just a bit. And in our course, in our lettering course, the lettering bootcamp that you're gonna start with June 11th, once you're in that membership, it is going to, um, kind of reiterate the fact of really planning things out getting your um fonts down the way that you like it and remembering how to um to position your pieces so it fills the format right now i'm just gonna let you kind of watch me so as you can see i've got this piece of paper up under here because i've already i keep making mistakes my same old mistakes as always <laughs> and getting getting paint on my hand and so you don't always have to do that um but if you are working on a surface that um, the paint stays wet for just a little bit, or not the paint, but the, sometimes it'll be the paint. Sometimes paint, sometimes marker, you will want to have something under your hand right there. So for whatever he tells you, I, um, you're going to see that we have found so many of these whatever verses. And I think that a lot of people, the first time they hear about whatever letter, they think it sounds maybe a little flippant or maybe like we're going to draw whatever letter you want to. <laughs> but really, whatever letter, um, you know, it's based off of, you, you, let's think on these things. Whatever is pure, whatever is true, whatever is right, whatever is new, all of that. But then once we really started researching, there are so many whatever verses that really are used in a very different way than what we're used, the way that we use the word whatever. And so in this, um, in this particular verse, this is when, um, in John 2, 5, it is at the wedding and Jesus' is first miracle. They have, um, ran out of wine and this says this is his first recorded miracle however his mom still knew that you know <laughs> that this is Jesus this is the son of God and she knew that hey you can do something about this if anybody can do something you can do something and at first he says why are you coming to me about this <laughs> and then my time is not it's not here yet however he, she still looked at the disciples and she said just do whatever he tells you whatever he tells you do it <laughs> and um and they did he said go fill these jugs up with water and they did and um um, and, you know, the rest of that story is it turned into wine. He provided, basically he provided something that they, um, that they wanted. Was wine an absolute need for survival? No, they, they wanted it. And, um, I just love the fact that his first miracle, um, was just, you know, just helping, just helping a situation out. It was not a life or death miracle. It was, um, just helping. And, I love that she had such faith and just was like, hey, whatever he tells you. And so when I look at that verse, I think, okay, that, that same kind of marching order is to us too. Like, whatever he tells you. Even if it doesn't make sense always or you don't, um, you know, you're not totally understanding why he's telling you to do what he's doing. I'm sure they didn't really know why whenever they ran out of wine, why he said fill these up with water. I mean, they might be like, okay, what, what, why? Um, so you're not always going to know the why and you're not always going to know the end story. Um, but, uh, but you know, whatever he tells you to do. And y'all, this whole lettering group for me is that, um, so it's, uh, he's, he's told me for years just to open my mouth and to use my mouth more. And, um, and he's given me art, and I love doing it. And so um, this whole group is is me <laughs> trying to trying to obey and um, and do whatever he tells me to do. 
All right, so you may be, you're watching so far and you've probably not seen too much new. Um, I had, you know, I did plan it out first. I made sure I didn't have too many um, empty spaces as far as those negative spaces go. Again, something that we will talk a lot more about in our boot camp as far as what to look for. I'm thickening those down strokes. But what I really want to show you is the next thing. And if you watched our um, tutorial with the feather, you will you would have seen um, a similar technique. So with these Tombow markers, now I'm using Tombow markers and I'm using watercolor paper. However, you can do this same effect. If you have got your um, child's like a washable Crayola markers, you can do the same thing. So I've gone ahead and penciled out where I want the flowers to be. I'm going to still kind of put this here. Um, and now I'm not going to completely color in. I'm just going to kind of do some scribbles to give it a shape. And I'll come back. I'm doing a light pink. And then we'll come back and do a dark pink. And then I will do my green. But yes, washable markers will do the same thing. What we're going to do is we're going to put this on. Then we are going to add a little bit of water. And it's going to give it that watercolor effect. But if you are looking at this and you are like dying, like I want to do this right now and I don't have Tombow markers, you don't have to have Tombow. If you've got Crayola washable markers, any washable markers really, but um, I, I do like Crayola. Sometimes I've had some of the cheaper markers that don't have quite as much pigment and they don't work as well. But Crayola washable markers or um, on watercolor paper. The paper is kind of important. Um, otherwise, it just about falls apart. Um, but washable markers are made to loosen up in the water. That's why they're washable. And so when you um, add water to them, they loosen up and you're able to kind of turn them into watercolor. So him coming back in, a little bit of this darker pink. I'm intentionally leaving white and I will continue. Oops, you're not seeing that, I'm sorry. Um, I will continue to leave white even when I paint it. I like for there to be a little bit of the white. You can see it's a very kind of a scribbly thing. And I did this on Bristol paper too, and it worked. Um, it didn't work probably as good, but this right here was on Bristol paper. Okay, so um, as long as it's a thick paper. I think watercolor paper works better for this technique because it's made to hold water. Um, but that one, it worked decently. Okay, so I've got my pinks on there. Now I'm going to quickly add my greens. Now, whatever letter, our membership, um, this is our, our beta launch. This is our first time do, um, opening up this membership, which means we have offered it at a, um, at a founding member's price. We are not sure until we get into it and if we're going to be able to keep it at this price because we may see that, hey, we've got a lot more that we want to send out, that shipping turns out to be more than we think. You know, there's all kind of factors that we just don't know until we get into it. And so we cannot guarantee that the next time that we open this, um, that it will still be the $27 a month price. However, once you lock into it, we are not going to change it on you. So if you lock into the founding member's um, price, that will be your rate unless you decide to cancel. Um, all right, so I've got that on there. Now I'm going to get my water. And I've got a watercolor brush. I'm going to do the light green first. Just because it's easy. I'm not having to think too much about it. I don't have to leave too much um, white space or anything with that. Now, the black, since I did it in a Tombow marker, it would react to water too. So I'm not going to put any water on it right now. I don't want it to be blending. Now, you could avoid that by if you did this with Sharpie instead of the Tombow. Then you could put water all in the background if you wanted to. You could paint it, do whatever you wanted to do. Uh, but since it's Tombow marker, if we add water to it, it's going to all go crazy. Okay, so here we go. We're going to add just a little bit of water, kind of, kind of shaking that hand, similar to how we did it whenever we... Um, we're doing the markers a little bit at a time. What I'm not doing is just going straight across or up and down or all in circles. I'm just first, I'm loosening the markers and leaving just a little bit of that white space. Okay, so here I'm gonna rinse that brush again. Gonna kind of shake my hand, kind of loosen the markers and leave some white. 
If you have got any questions about the lettering club, I have tried to answer as many as I can think of. Um, it's all online. It's, you will have access to the videos for as long as you are in the club. Uh oh, that started running. I'll get that in a little bit. Um, trying to think of what other some you can you know you can cancel at any time we will be sending you some supplies in the mail we are not sending the whole shebang just because um right now i don't know that we can uh fit it all in an envelope for everything that you'll need forever like for example when we do um chalk painting or chalk lettering i'm sorry we might send you a small chalk little surface we're not gonna send you a big old chalk board does that make sense or when we teach about how to letter on glass we will send you the pen but we're not necessarily going to be sending you the glass so i don't want you to think that every single piece that you need will come into the mail because the, the majority of the value of this membership will be our lessons and our community but we are super excited to be able to send you every single month art card or an art print scripture card and a set of like little surprise goodies that are going to help you getting started with your projects that we do and then we will do those projects in you know we'll have them uploaded at pizzazzonline.com we will share in our facebook group and also for all there's a lot of y'all this is our free facebook group and then we will have another one for the paid members but don't think that this facebook group is just going to disappear it is not yes i will be spending a little bit more time in the paid um facebook group just because we will be doing projects together i'm sure there's going to be lots of questions and answers but we are not leaving this one okay we're going to continue to pour into um to our free Facebook group as well and come at you with fun things. So if you're at a place where you just can't afford it right now, don't worry, we're not gonna leave you completely hanging. But if you can afford it, now is the best time to get in on it because like I said, the founders deal um, will not be, I cannot promise it um, the next go round when we open it up. All right, so this is just about it. I'm gonna see, let's see. I'm just gonna see if I can add a little bit of the green. Eh, it's a little bit too wet to show up. So sometimes you can come back into it and see I can add a little bit of this detail. If it's too wet, you've got to wait for it to dry. Mine's, some of these are wet and some are not. But I could even do the same thing with, um, with the roses if I wanted to. I don't think there's too much of a need to do it to the roses, though. All right, so y'all, um, later on tonight, I'll be doing a Q&A for any last-minute questions that you may have about this membership, about how it works, or anything like that. So if you've got questions, be sure to let me know. And um, and here is this. Whatever he tells you based on John 2, 5, let's just, um, whatever he's already told you to do, let's just... Uh, kind of let's do it <laughs> let's uh not beat around the bush let's not make excuses um let's just do it all right y'all have a good day